All right, Coach. Um, fast start for your team. Yeah. Uh, you got out quickly, and then it just it seemed when Russell Westbrook came into the game that changed the whole complexion of it, and their defense was really, really good tonight. Yeah, they were, they were good. They were the more forceful team, like you say, Graf. I thought when Russ uh, entered the game, their second unit, they, they played with a lot of force and um, just thrust up and down the floor, and it, and it changed the game. You've had some teaching moments this year. You know, you've been a resilient team after some tough losses. Is this going to be one of those teaching moments again to, to respond after a game like this? For sure. It's definitely a, a, a teaching moment. Um, you know, you lose a game and you want to see what you did well and see what you need to improve on. But at the end of the day, we don't want to we don't want to be an emotional team and hang our hats by every single win and loss. We got to stay the course. And tonight, they were the better team. Yeah, you guys put up uh, 15 points in the second quarter. It looked like just the offense kind of dried up yeah. those last six minutes. So what did you see overall offensively in that quarter? Uh, they, they were physical. They were aggressive. They had their hands on us. They mixed up their defensive coverages. They, were, they blitzed some pick and rolls. Um, they switched some pick and rolls on us. And it just it just took us out of what we wanted to do. And, you know, we, we, we were a step slow tonight. Uh, Z stayed on the bench um, after coming out with yeah. that right leg contusion. Was that more of just a kind of precautionary thing? You guys get ready for this road trip or anything like that? I'm not sure. I just know that, you know, he pulled himself and, you know, it's a right leg contusion. That's the, as far as I know right now. And it was something that happened in the third or was it before halftime? Uh, I think it was before halftime. Yeah. And, uh, what did you think about just the, the way they executed in half court? That's the area y'all yeah. have been really good in half court defense, but it seemed like they just had a lot of success uh, slowing the game down and getting the shots they wanted. Yeah, they were good. Uh, their isolation basketball is, is, you know, superb. Their ability to shot fake drive, kick, get open threes, uh, give them credit. They came in and they did what they needed to do to win. They were a more forceful team. They executed uh, a bit better than us. And, um, it, it wasn't our best game at all. Coach, you mentioned that the force was missing tonight. Yeah. What about the pace? How do you feel about the pace? I don't think you guys got your first uh, fast break points until the third quarter. It was slow. You know, we were a step slow. And um, look, I can look out on the floor and, you know, maybe it's fatigue or something like that. But at the end of the day, I don't want to take anything away from the Clippers. They, they dominated the game after the first five minutes. We have to be better. We know it. Our guys in the locker room know it. And um, we'll come in tomorrow, watch film, get on the floor and work. Coach, midway through the second quarter when they started making that run, it seemed like there's a chance for a timeout, five, five and a half minutes left, but you let them play through that, you know, their issues, mm -hmm. and it, like two and a half left. Just like your thought process on letting them play through those issues, especially since the regular season now, and learning the, the, learning the lessons for that. Yeah, for sure. I, I think sometimes it's a field thing. There's times that... You know, you take a timeout to get reorganized. And with the way we've been playing lately, I wanted to give our group a chance to play with some flow and some rhythm and get up and down the court and not call a time timeout and let their their half-court defense get set. So um, none of that stuff worked. Um, they were the better team once again. Yeah, and to that half-court defense, you start out hot, but then only two assists the rest of the first quarter, I think, over the whole first quarter. You yeah. made two pointers inside the three-point arc on that second quarter. Just what were they throwing at you that kind of got you off your rhythm? They're, they're handsy. They're a handsy, physical, defensive team. And if we don't play with force, slip screens, get into our offense quickly, and we want to play isolation basketball, that can be difficult against this type of team. You got to move them side to side. You got to shot fake, drive, kick, drive, drive kick. And then the dominoes will fall. And, and tonight, um, we didn't do a good enough job of that. To re-clarify the Zion, did you say he pulled himself like it was his call on going back in and out? He, he checked himself out there. Yes. Yeah. 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 He he just was like, ah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not going back in. So, coach, you talk about not becoming too emotional after wins and losses, but you kind of use games like this as a barometer to kind of see where your team is, especially against a team that's playing so well coming into here. We definitely we definitely wanted to meet the challenge, and we we. It was we didn't we didn't meet the challenge. They they've been playing well. We've been playing well, um, and they came in and I mean just kicked our butts. Okay, thank you.